What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of SC Outdoors. Today I am out here on a uh, wild brown trout stream. Um, it's also stocked, uh, so you can get some stock browns, rainbows. Not sure if they do brooks, um, but I know there are uh, plenty of fish around. I'm the only one here, which is really nice. Um, the spot does get hit kind of hard, but I'm always able to catch fish, especially as I walk further, further in here. So um, I'll show you my setup here, but I don't have much time, so I'm looking forward to getting started here. So like I said, time's a little bit short. So I was gonna try something different today, but something came up, don't have the full day to fish. So I'm going with what I know. Um, and that is this Rainbow Warrior Nymph on the bottom, fast series from Lively Legs, tungsten bead, helps it get moving. There are some quick riffles through here. So I think that'll help. Um, and then for the slower stuff and even some of the quicker shallow stuff, I have my Mott Fly on top, which is size 12. Um, if you watch my videos, you know this setup by now. Um, just gonna try to pick apart some runs and, and see if we can find some fish. There we go. That was cool. Oh wow, he got the the nymph. I saw him come up. I thought for sure he got the mop fly. It's a wild brown. That was really cool. I saw him come up and swipe that. The nymph must have been riding a little higher than I thought. little wild brown. Off she goes. I'd missed one a couple couple drifts earlier, a lot smaller. But there we go, that didn't take long. Yes. Another one out of that run. This one's decent. Definitely a little bit better anyways. Let's get him in here. There we go, that's a solid fish. Nice wild brown. Out of the same run, also took the nymph. Slightly better fish. I'll take her for sure. Nice, two fish out of the first run. Whoa. That was wild. There we go. I think we got a rainbow, maybe? Yeah, we do. Really pretty bow at that, too. All right, guys, take a look at this rainbow. Super clean fish. If I know any better, I think this was a wild fish from you know, some stream in Montana. Well, there he goes. Hopefully you got a good look at him though. I mean, I'm sure he wasn't wild, but it's just a really clean looking fish. I like that a lot. Um, I think rainbows are really cool when they look like that. But anyways, that feels good. Um, man, when I would spin fish this stream, this hole would never produce a fish because it gets hit so hard. So that's the, one of the biggest things I, I've noticed about fly fishing. I can get pressured fish a, a little bit easier, which is nice. Um, but yeah, that's cool, man. There we go. Oh, that was a decent fish. Shoot, can't believe I missed him.
There we go. Nice fish. Sitting in some shallow runs here. Ooh, that was cool. All right, come here, buddy. Oh, there he goes. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Oh, there we go. Man, two fish came up on that. Two fish whiffed it and then this guy got it. That was insane. This is a stocky. Stock brown. As with a lot of stockies, he's got some marks on him from herons and whatnot. They're uh, typically not as smart. I know there's at least two more fish in there. There we go. I knew there'd be one in there. Looks like a rainbow. Oh, he took them up. I can get a hold of the guy, show you him real quick. the stock bow. That is my first travel on the mop fly today. They, the uh, creek chubs have been loving it. Been catching a few of those on the uh, on the mop. Most of the trout have been hitting the nymph, but that's cool. I knew there had to be a fish in there. There's got to be more. We'll see if we can pull another one out. There's one. Another rainbow. Third fish out of this, this pocket. Definitely stacked in here. Well, he ain't coming as easy as I thought he might. Let's go. There he is. There goes the hook. All right. These rainbows, man. I don't know what it is about rainbows, but they just love to flop around. All right, so there he is, stock bow. Get him back in, I know he's ready. There he goes, back down into that deep pocket. There we go. Rainbow, yes, it's a rainbow.
not the most likely spot. I mean, it wasn't very deep in there. Just decided to make a couple runs real quick. All right, there we go. Nice, another stocky. Like I said, he wasn't in, in much water. Uh, it's only got to be a foot and a half in there. Um, but there was just enough of a drop. I figured I might as well take a quick drift. And there he was. There we go. Ah. There's one rainbow. Just lost a wild brown, the cast before. This rainbow took them up. Nice. All right. Let's get him back in here. There he is. Nice bow. This is the last pool of the day for me. I'm running out of time. Um, but this is probably my favorite run in the entire stream. Always produces a few fish for me. I don't think I've had a day where I've come here and didn't get multiple fish out of this. So, and usually a couple rainbows, usually a couple browns. It's always a nice mix. Let's see if we can manage one more before this day's ended. So the one just hit the surface there. Missed another one. go that's a nice brown again on the mop that's a wild brown too Poor guy definitely had something take a chunk out of him or something happened to him. Look at that. Wild. Still pretty fish either way. Another one out of there. That's insane. Again on the mop. Another bow. That's like the sixth or seventh fish I've hooked into this hole. Loaded. All right, guys, that is going to do it. Thanks for watching. Um, this was a blast. Caught probably about 15 fish. Uh, that last hole, the one right behind me, ended up, I think, with six or seven hooked fish at least. Um, it was wild. Uh, good mix of rainbows and browns. Um, as the year goes on, this stream will become more browns um, than anything, at least from my experience, but I will take the mix for now. Um, mop fly worked. Uh, nymphs worked. It was a good day. I mean, for like two hours and to catch close to 15 fish, I cannot complain. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, if you did, please leave a like, uh, subscribe, um, and I will see you next time here on SC Outdoors.